An Albuquerque police officer was just doing his job when a traffic stop turned into a shootout. Now, Officer Lou Golson is talking to KOAT Action 7 News reporter Mike Springer about why he is so thankful for the actions of others that terrifying night. I catch something out of the corner of my eye. I don't know what it was until the shots started ringing. It happened in the blink of an eye. Last month, Albuquerque police say Officer Lou Golson was shot by Christopher Cook after pulling over this stolen SUV. The 31-year veteran was hit four times. Cook took off running. Golson was lying over here on the ground, but he says he was able to remain calm because of all his years of training in the military. Golson was wearing a bulletproof vest and believes that's a big reason he survived. And you had your vest on that night. Do you yes. always wear your vest? Every day. I don't leave home without it. So you're kind of thankful you had that on then? Oh, yeah. Because uh, two of the rounds would have definitely been fatal rounds. In addition to the vest, Golson says the first responders who came to his aid were the real heroes that night. From the time the first uh, paramedic got there to the time I got loaded into the rescue rig and got to the hospital, I mean, they had one focus, and that was to make sure that I would survive. And here I am. Fast forward one month, and Golson is out of the hospital. He's in a wheelchair with a brace around his wrist. Golson says he appreciates all the support he's gotten, some of it from unlikely sources. One of the cards I got was from a man that I had stopped and wrote two citations to the night I got shot. Uh, he went Monday morning and went to the chief's office to uh, get a good well, uh, get well card. Golson now says his focus is on getting well so he can get back to work. Reporting in Northeast Albuquerque, Mike Springer, KOAT Action 7 News. Golson says he spent time visiting the families of two other APD officers who have been hurt. Two weeks ago, he talked to Jacob Grant, who was critically injured when an officer accidentally shot him last month. Golson says he also talked to the family of Officer Ray Loomis, who is still fighting for his life after a hit-and-run accident. The West Coast is starting to get hit with heavy rains and flooding.